Hello Scorpio and welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey and I'm doing your reading today for the Sun, Moon, Rising Signs of Scorpio. Here you will find your readings every Thursday. So Scorpio, let's get into it. So I have this card turned over already because this is a new deck to me and I just wanted to make sure I was on the right path. Okay, so the cards we're using today are the Oracle Roses as well as Island Time Wellness. All right, so basically, let's take a look. Okay. So Scorpio, this particular card, the Sage card, is telling you that um, there's some help that is coming your way, but it's not the way that you expect. Some of you have a relationship that's coming in or has come in and it's not quite the way that you expected. Um, you might be looking for a perfect opportunity or perfect person. There's no such thing. Um, you know, of course, it's, it's, it's proper. It's smart. It's definitely wise to make sure people check off our boxes. But are the boxes that you're trying to check off, are they really, are they a little too strict? Okay. Um, there, I don't see, what I feel is, there, those of you who are in some type of partnership, job, or whatever, if it's involved, it's definitely involving another person. There's something that it's not, dead it's not going to leave you if you're worried about well some it's not going to leave you the person's not going to leave you the job's not going to leave you the opportunity is not going to leave this is a lesson that um this is a gift i take that back not lesson this is a gift from the divine this is a gift that they want you to achieve this is one of the things in your lifetime that you wanted to achieve as well Definitely some of you, there's a person, a person that you wanted to meet again in this lifetime and you don't know who it is. So don't bother trying to think about who it is. You don't remember them at all. <laughs> that, that has been wiped off your memory. Clean. God's taken that off. So because of the lesson you need to learn. Um... I feel like there's some doubts like you maybe you don't think that maybe you think you're weird or quirky or you, you're not like the average person so maybe this person doesn't quite like you like you think they do maybe you're getting a little too excited or a little too into into little a little too into this relationship those of you who are not married um even a friendship it can be a friendship as well if it's a career thing it's like you're thinking maybe they don't think i'm quite as talented or quite as um really what this job needs but they are interested in you this if it's a job if it's school if it's something like these they or uh, some type of i don't know project person internship whatever it is they really want to work with you these people this person they really do like you and they really do want to commit to you in whatever way this is. If it's, like I said, love, if it's his career, if it's an inter externship, internship, whatever it is, they are interested. So don't try to stay out of your mind because outdated thinking is what's um, playing in your head. Things that have been trained over to you over time. Things that maybe mommy and daddy said to you or a teacher said or or a childhood person or somebody across your path who wasn't worth a darn in the first place said something and negative and it's playing in your head, okay? Um, I'm also getting definitely not good enough. That is something that we really need to tackle because if you take that into any relationship, that is going to destroy it, 
we can never think that the other person is better than us because God does not see us like that. We are all the same. We all put our draws on one foot at a time, right? We're all the same. So we definitely, that's something I would definitely ask um, the divine God, source, mom, dad, whoever you call it, to help you with that because you do not want to take that into a relationship because it will crash and burn. I promise you it will. I've done it myself. Also, um, it will hold you back like it's doing for some of you right now. Actually, all of you, it's, it's, it's something about your self-worth is, is holding you back from thinking that you are worthy of this position or money or love in your life commitment right there's something that is blocking in some way and i see five 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 so definitely yeah something is trying is blocking you something we need to deal with there if you're not sure how to deal with that like i said i would reach out to the divine on that i would bring it in prayer i would bring it in prayer first thing in the morning when that feet hit the floor Thank you for another day, and can you please get rid of this, <laughs> you know, <laughs> before you go to bed, 30 minutes before you go to bed. Thank you for another evening, and can you get rid of this? I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to be this person. It's blocking me. I don't want this block anymore. Do that for a good three to seven days, and you'll see a change. You will. Um, yeah. So I definitely, it has potential, it really does. It has potential if you can just move that block out of the mind, right? Out of the way, whether this is from childhood or past life, whatever it is, we need to conquer that block. Because once you do, you are gonna be so happy. You will see that this is one of the best gifts god the divine has ever given you i promise you that so i would definitely it's worth taking me up on that and asking to get rid of that block because it really is those of you who love this is if it's love is this is the love of the lifetime that you've been looking for now i'm not saying it's gonna just happen overnight right but this is the building box for something absolutely beautiful this is it right and you know whether this person is for you or not they're a jerk or they're like you got to be begging them and all this crazy mm -mm, that's not the person if you got to be like i don't know mm -mm, that's not the person everything done with the divine is done in ease it flows it flows if you get rid of this block and you take this opportunity some of you are going to just be doing really well for you to yourself career wise um you're going to be comfortable and things are changing as you can see things are changing so it's definitely worth trusting trusting the divine on this one okay i know sometimes scorpios can be a little uh fixed you know you guys are fixed signs also if you have a sagittarius moon this is for you as well if i said that already but definitely be open give it a chance those of you love give love a chance you love a chance, okay? All right, so I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching or listening or wherever you are, whatever platform. If there's a way for you to like, definitely hit that like button. If there's a way for you to follow and subscribe, definitely do that as well so you'll find more content. You will find your videos here every Thursday. I appreciate you. If you Oh, if you need to find out more about me, that information's in the description box below. Have a great and amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.